Stanislav, I'm from India on H-1B visa and my employer filed for EB-2 perm certification. I got approved with the priority date some a few years ago. I don't want to wait for another 10 years and Lord knows maybe there is a backlog with the visa bulletin. What option do I have? Guys, today we're going to be talking about this exciting topic and let me know, I have only one but the best recipe for you to get off that boat where you're gonna paddle for many many years ahead and also today you will get a chance to get a free evaluation of your case based on that recipe let's go hello my dear friends i'm stanislav shamayev a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. Today we're talking about our beloved, our dear Indian clients who are on H-1B visas with approved EB-2s and willing, desiring most in their lives, in your lives, to get a green card. And guys, the short answer to all your problems is eb one A. If you go to my streams, if you read my posts on Instagram, if you follow me in general, you guys know. I've done so many of those cases where I released our Indian brothers and sisters from the slavery. Modern slavery, guys, okay? Because I know some of you get excited when I say slavery. Modern slavery, okay, because slavery has different uh, meanings and you are kind of modern slave If you're from India with a huge backlog for EB2, yes, you have it approved But hey, hello, when is going to happen? Nobody knows and with those uh, when the, with that volatility with the visibility and you guys may have heart attack seeing your backlog a few years back and I feel your pain and understand and that's why I'm making these videos to give you that light in the tunnel for you, for your families, for your future, okay? And like I told you, it's EB1A. And let me tell you guys, a lot of you have the imposter syndrome. And that's not the first time I'm saying the, those two words. Imposter syndrome is when you are objectively talented person, achieved a lot of things, had a great career, but you yourself do not see yourself as such. Okay, and let me tell you, only I can objectively assess, evaluate you, whether you have the potential to get EB1A approved. Yes, uh, some of you are Stanislav, I'm not talented, I'm not extraordinary. Right, right. <laughs> Let's discuss this, okay? First of all, procedurally, procedurally. You'll be like, okay, I have EB2 approved in 2019, how is it gonna help me? So the immigration law, gives you the opportunity to substitute your priority date with the newly approved employment-based petition with the previously approved employment-based petition, okay? Make sure you understand it correctly because you cannot substitute family-based petition with employment-based and the other way around. You can substitute only one employment-based petition with another or the other, okay, if you have only one. So how many employment-based visas we have? EB1, EB2, EB3, EB4, EB5, okay? Five of them, and there are subtypes within almost each one of them. So now, if you have, and this is an example, okay, because I know I have clients who have EB2 approved 2015 and they have grown up kids like 19 years old and they have no time to wait, right? They could wait a couple of years, but the kid's gonna grow up and bam, that's done. And I have the clients with uh, freshly approved EB2, like 2022, 2023, 2023, 2021 and such. But the bottom line here, whatever the priority date for EB2, once we get you approved for EB1A, and I will get you approved for EB1A, and I will explain why, with a high chance, with a very, very high chance, okay? Well, how high? 90 to 95% if you do everything I tell you. So now, if you get, let's say, 2019 for your EB2, and we get you approved in December 2024 for your EB1A, I'm going to request the USCIS 
to substitute your EB1A priority date with your EB2 from 2009 as if your EB1A got approved in 2019. And because as of today, the priority date for EB1A for Indians is, and don't quote me on that, some, it may be a month ahead you're watching this video, is somewhere around April 2021. That means that once we substitute your EB1A to EB2 from 2019, which is before April 2021, you will be able to adjust your status immediately. I will be able to file I-485 for each of your family member to get the green card. And within three to nine months, all your family is going to be having a green card. That's the procedure. Now, Stanislav, I'm not talented. We're going back to this issue, right? Because I know this is like 60% or 70% of you. Uh, there are, there's the other one, you know, uh, a lot of talented people think they are not talented. A lot of people who are not talented think they are talented, okay? And you, you guys all have such friends who are, who mean nothing to anyone, but they think they're the kings of the world. That's what it is, right? That's what it is. So, uh, but the majority of you guys, you are, have at least four, sometimes five criteria without knowing. And let me remind you, we need to satisfy only three criteria out of the 10, but I want six, okay? My recipe is six criteria. So which one of those? All of you work in high-end companies. Amazon, Visa, Facebook, Apple, whatever, right? Because only those companies doing the H-1Bs or mostly those companies doing H-1Bs, so you have critical or leading role. That's number one. All of you making really good money, okay? So you have commercial success. Thirdly, most of you assess the work of other professionals in those companies where you work okay, or in those companies, in many companies. Uh, and that's the judging the work of other professionals. Number three, most of you have some type of contribution in the field through the work in those same companies, right? If you release some kind of app in Bank of America that's used by millions of people, you contributed in the industry. The majority of you have, have four criteria, and usually my clients have at least three. Okay, the rest three we can work on while picking up your petition. What are the other two you guys will be working on? That's the press and that's the academic articles. And we have the resources to give you to get those things done within the six next months. And those are the real things, you know, no fake, no, nothing illegal. Everything is within the scope, within the laws. So you will get the articles about you and will draft your own articles within the next six months with the, with the help of professionals, okay? With other professionals, our partners. So there you go. Many of you didn't even know you have the four. Now you see the potential for the six. And we have only two criteria left, the professional associations and the awards. And some of you will get those done too, okay? Like a cherry on the top of this beautiful cake that we're creating with you. What's the next step, guys? The next step is the free evaluation. Don't sleep on this. Every single day you waste is taking out of your green card, is taking out of your kid's future and your own, fu and your own future in that effect. So the free evaluation, there's a link below this video. Fill this out. Get me a lot of details about those questions I'm asking you. And within two days, I'll get back to you. With a free analysis, which criteria we satisfy, which we don't, which we can work on. And if I see the potential to get you through within the next six months, I will invite you to the complex immigration planning where I will build the written winning strategy for your case with two phases. Comment under this video, subscribe to my YouTube, smash that like button because you love my content. And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot of good content over there too. I am Stanislav Shamayev, a lawyer of the future. Your future begins here. Good luck.